All right, welcome back everybody. I hope everybody had an amazing New Year's and you're back on track now and you're back to work. There's been big things happening here. On December the 2nd, we closed on the property. Hassan and Darshani actually own this place. And today, I have literally 30 members of the syndicate that are showing up here at the property and we're gonna completely demolish this place. As part of any renovation campaign that you're gonna do, you have to start off by doing demolitions. You gotta know what your plans are gonna be so you know what to rip apart. But you can see we got the big green dumpster there already. We got the house set up. And right after this, we're gonna get started in ripping this place apart. My name's Ken Dunn. I'm a real estate investor, developer, and a national housing advocate. For decades now, thousands and thousands of Canadian families have been stuck in situations that they don't want. They wanna own homes. They want a place to call their own and raise their families. And they're struggling trying to put the money together for a down payment. They're struggling trying to keep their credit in good standing, paying for rent, being moved around, and never feeling settled down. Real estate investors have been using strategies for decades where they buy houses with other people's money, they borrow the money to increase the value, and they sell the houses making incredible profits. I'm gonna show these Canadian families how to use the same techniques to buy their dream homes. They're not gonna need down payments, they're not gonna need credit, because they're gonna buy a house with sweat equity. So I'll take you guys on a tour first, you know, show you exactly what we're doing here, and then we'll get into it. The scariest things, the things that involve opening up walls, I can handle that with Keith and Steve. Right. And then the other folks, uh, we'll give a couple people sledgehammers, and then the rest of you are just gonna be carting stuff out to the dumpster. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and our whole goal today is to literally rip everything out, rip the kitchen out, rip the bathroom out, and then go downstairs and completely gut the place. So anyway, this is Hassan and Darshni's house. Yay. Thank you guys for doing Thank this and being part of Thank this. Thank you for helping Thank us out, guys. Me. Friends and family are, is what really makes these things cheap. I know because we have a whole budget we put together for the renovations, but if we can do all the demolition today between the 10 of us, we can literally save them 10, 15 grand. Demolition can get really, really expensive. So why don't we do that? Let's start in the front here and we'll go around. All right, so this is our 1950s kitchen. Um, and unfortunately, if you're doing any types of renovations, things like this, what you have to do is you have to think about what the modern world is like, right? Because our, our goal is lift. And if we are going to create the most lift, you have, we have to do high-end finishings, but more importantly, Importantly than that, we have to think what's in trend right now. And when we look at this wartime kitchen, it's exactly what it is. There isn't enough room for two people in this room. But if you can see what they did, we have some things that we can play to our advantage. They've made it a thoroughfare through the house, which in modern designs, we don't need that, right? So what the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna literally close this, turn it into the wall, so that we can move the fridge over and put it right up against the wall. The other thing is part of demolition that we're gonna do, you can see on the wall here, I've drawn out an open Opening, which is about four feet long by four feet high, a big square. We're gonna we're gonna open this completely. It's at bar counter height, and we'll put a nice quartz countertop on the top of this so that it'll look beautiful. And then we're gonna get rid of the 1950s appliances and open this up and redo it all. So today we're gonna completely rip this apart. So I'll get out of the way. You guys can come in and get a closer look at it. This is antique. Oh. The master bedroom is going to be downstairs. We'll take you down there in a second and see. But what we loved about these rooms, first of all, the hardwood is scored, right? It's freaking amazing. We're just going to have this stuff refinished. We are going to put a door in here. So these standard split entry houses have that side entry that goes up and down. We're going to turn it into a duplex as part of this whole process. They're not going to rent it as a duplex right away, but doing it now will increase the value. And that's really what we're after. And then we're going to take this window out, put a door in its place so that this room will have direct access onto the deck and the hot tubs and everything that we have in the backyard. I'll chat with you guys really quickly about the bathroom on the way by. This is the only bathroom right now. We're going to rip it out completely, get rid of the tub, put a shower in instead. 
So this is where most of the work's gonna happen today. We have to completely gut this. Um, and that includes the stairs. We're actually gonna leave the stairs in, but we're gonna take out all the paneling on all the walls and ripping down this wall completely. This, this wall that you see here with the two by fours that separates the rooms is not load bearing. So we're gonna completely take that out. We're gonna remove all the paneling from the walls. Um, I don't necessarily wanna pull apart the two by fours. That are, if, I think it's two by fours under here. If we can save that, we will. If we can figure it out, we need to get this crappy old linoleum tile off the floor. The bar has to come out, everything, um, all at one time. So that by the time we're finished today, it's just a good empty slate. I'll tell you what we're gonna do down here though, which is gonna be really neat, is we're not gonna put a door here. We're gonna leave that out, get as much height as we can. Where you guys are standing now, we're gonna recess a kitchenette. So in that 10 feet of space, there'll be a fridge recessed because that's all storage and gonna stay storage behind it. A, a countertop, a dishwasher, so that this could literally be a one bedroom apartment. And then down here is where the separation is going to be. So this is going to be a really compact, you know, living room, dining area for the whoever would be staying down here. And then this will go into the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is going to be down here in the basement. And then up in the corner, a really big, beautiful bathroom that goes into the side and then a walk-in closet beside it. So what I think would be really cool is those that have experience doing this stuff, if you guys could start down here right, right now and literally just start ripping this shit apart. Right. Bill, what I'll get you to do is to start upstairs in the kitchen. Okay. Start taking the cabinets out and everything. And those that don't have experience, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is to move the stuff out to the dumpster yep. and be part of that side of it. And then obviously you'll see ripping this wall down is going to take less than 15 minutes. So as soon as they finish ripping it down, they'll help you too. All right, last thing I need to talk to everybody about is dumpster etiquette. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Actually, let me show you the backyard first. So what we're gonna do back here is we're actually gonna put one of the ADUs in the balance containers right there against the wall. So it's gonna be 20 feet long, eight feet wide with the entrance on the front of it. So we're gonna turn it into a triplex and there's freaking tons of room to do it. We're gonna put new fences all the way around. And then back here, there's the there's where the door is gonna be to come out here. And then this corner, we're gonna have a full mini Nordic spa. Well, all right, so let's go talk about dumpster etiquette. <laughs> so when you're loading the dumpster on any construction project, Project, there needs to be a conversation about dumpster etiquette is this is the biggest mistake people make and it's really simple to explain and you just have to understand it number one nothing comes in this dumpster unless it's been broken down so any types of when we take the cabinets out we got to break them down first if you got any boxes you got to break them down the reason being is air costs money if you want to get the most out of these things you break everything down flat and you stack it so when we're throwing stuff in here we're not just throwing it in we're bringing it into the dumpster and stacking it to get the most use out of it if we stack everything in here properly and you do this the right way, we should be able to get everything out of the house into one dumpster. All right, let's get to work. Introducing the ultimate in hydrotherapy and premium relaxation. Experience the epitome of artisanship with Canadian hot tubs. Meticulously handcrafted for over four decades, Canadian hot tubs are synonymous with comfort, depth, and unwavering durability. You can choose from our range of four-foot cedar tubs or indulge in the therapeutic embrace of our five-foot hydrotherapy models. Available in Canada and across the world, Canadian hot tubs bring a touch of luxury to homes worldwide. Craftsmanship that speaks for itself. Visit canhottub.com now. <laughs> okay, Bill, you're going to be working with uh, Hassan and Darshani. What I want you to do is to rip out all the cabinets and everything out of the kitchen and then move into that bathroom there. Okay. And these guys will take care of that stuff. Obviously watch electrical when you're doing it. Yeah. Keith and I are going to start working on this wall right away and see what we're looking at there. Sure. Give it a shot. What I'd like you to do is work on all the paneling around the whole basement. Rip all that down and then we'll get a couple of these people and they come back indoor. <laughs> Sarah is going to be the foreman. What, what her job is, is to take all the wood paneling down in the basement. She's going to do all the heavy banging and crap. What I'm going to ask you guys to do is to take it out to the dumpster. Okay. 
You bang stuff off your fridge, your wife's gonna be pissed at you. I almost snapped right there, and I'm telling you, and there's a secret to doing this the right way. He just dented the fridge. We were trying to save the fridge, and he's heavy into his work, and just bounced a freaking two by four and put a big dent in front of it, and I almost lost my mind with him. When you're doing these projects, remember, if you've got people helping you, they're volunteers. So you have to be the guy that holds the team together, the guy or the girl. Don't lose your shit. Stay calm, stay patient, give lots of great instructions, Instructions. Most of all, don't lose your mind. Be patient. I think it's been a crazy day today. First of all, it's super cold. I cannot believe that I've had all this support from all the guys uh, that has that have been helping us out today. I came in today this morning thinking um, this is going to take about a few weeks just to demolish the stuff, right? Because I've never I've never done a demo. When we first walked in there, like I could not fathom how much work was needed. And we're almost done, but I think we might need another day or so. Um, this just reminds me back to when Darshini and I started the restaurant. Uh, we built the restaurant together, we removed the bar, we built a lot of stuff together, we moved in a lot of kitchen equipment together. So it's just like old times, but that was more comfortable in that realm because I didn't have to actually do any of the major demo work myself. But today was one of those days where I got to learn a lot. One of the things that I really learned was hilarious today was dumpster um, etiquette. But yeah, little tidbits of information everywhere around. Stay tuned, and you'll get to learn a lot from uh, Ken uh, helping me out do this uh, homework. Put it at the front of the house. Today's been fantastic. As you can hear in the background, you know, we've got people working. Many hands make light work, seriously. We showed up here at 10 o'clock this morning. It's 12.30. We've got a full dumpster. We've got the basement is totally demoed. The kitchen's totally demoed. You can hear in the background, they're doing the bathroom. All the doors are off. It's crazy. So yeah, get your team together. Know that you've got people in your network to help you out. Tap into that. You don't have to do everything yourself and just get it done. Got pizza for people and it's amazing. People are happy. They've got full bellies and now we're working this afternoon. Maybe about another hour to do and this entire house is going to be gutted. Everyone is working together like we've got a little assembly line to get everything out of the basement. So, you know, somebody's taking stuff down. They're handing it to the next person in the assembly line and it goes along and it's getting into the dumpster. It's honestly, if you were doing it just you and your spouse or you and your friend or you and your best friend, then it would take so much longer. So get your team together in one day and make it happen. If you live in this amazing country and you dream about having a house for your family, a home you can call your own, but you haven't been able to do that because you have a hard time building up a down payment or the banks are telling you they can't help you because of credit, then pay attention. This ad is for you. My name is Ken Dunn and I'm a real estate investor and a national housing advocate. I have to tell you, there's a housing crisis going on right now, but the governments aren't going to fix it for you. All the governments are worried about is building more apartments, building more rental units. But until we figure out a way to help Canadians right across this country to buy homes with no money, then the crisis is never going to end. But don't worry, I've got the solution. I've been investing in real estate projects for more than 30 years, and I've never used any of my own money to buy the real estate. Here's what happens. I find a place that I want to buy. I look for places that are cheaper than the market, so they're the below value, and I buy the, the properties with private money, 100% and then I renovate the properties, increase the value. Then I go to the bank and say, hey, I own this house that's worth 800,000 and I only need a mortgage for 600,000 and they give me the mortgages. And you know what the dirty little secret the banks won't tell you is? If you have equity in the property, they're not gonna ask to see your credit. They're not gonna ask about your loans. They don't ask about any of that stuff. I wanna show you how to do this. I've helped hundreds of Canadian families just like you to buy homes without a down payment. And in this live workshop, I'm going to show you how to go out and find an undervalue house in your community that would make the right home for your family. And it's a fixer upper. 
then I'm going to show you how to buy that property without using any money. You use private investors funds and I'll show you how to get them. Then I'm going to show you how to renovate the property using other people's money. And then once it's done, you're going to own a house that's got hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity in it. And you can easily get a bank loan and live happily ever after. It's called buying a house with sweat equity. And if you click on the link, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I am nervous, but uh, at the same time, very happy. There's a lot of emotion going on. So it's like nervous, happy, excited, just thrilled to be doing that with Hassan as well being here. Maybe I'll feel it later on over the night. <laughs> I think it's worth it. So we need to sweat in order to get this done. So I'm happy to be part of this. I've already worked with Hassan for one and a half year. I know how it is working with him. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> But like, I think like if we work together like as a team, we're going to be able to get something great, like a good result out of it. All right, let's uh, yeah. just spend a couple minutes here and wrap this up for you guys. If you're... So demolition is going to be an important part of your project, right? Now here's a couple quick tips that I didn't go over that I want to finish up with today. Number one, when you're doing demolition, safety first. Helmets, glasses, gloves, boots. Make sure everybody on site is doing it. The second thing, <laughs> in every house, you have an Bobby. H, a heating Bobby system, so heating and air conditioning. That's your mechanical system. You have electrical and you have water, plumbing. I didn't tell you this earlier, but I have a certified electrician here. I have a certified plumber here and I have an HVAC guy, which is the heating and air conditioning guy. And I got those three people to shut down the systems before we started banging away at walls. Yeah. And I have them on site. And then finally, your heating and air conditioning. Just make sure you tape off all your vents and ducts that you're leaving so you don't get a lot of dust into your system. And then when you're finished, definitely clean your filters and get your heating and air conditioning system tested. I, One more thing I, I want to talk to you about, and this is the legalities of this. We got really lucky on this property because there's nothing we're doing here that really requires a permit. If you're doing anything that is with a load-bearing wall, so if you're taking out a wall and there's it load-bearing means that the, the wall is actually supporting the roof, you've got to get a permit to do that. Bring in a proper contractor to do anything serious in your property. Come over here with me a second. I'll give you another example of where we're bringing in experts. Where this window is here, this goes into a bathroom. And we've decided that we're going to take this opening and turn it into a door so it'll come out onto a nice deck here in the backyard. But we're not doing any of this today. The windows and doors contractor, and we're going to get them to do this. That means they'll go get the permits. They'll make sure that it's supported properly because it's part of the exterior of the building. So even though demolition can be fun and you can get a lot of friends involved, don't cut any quarters with this. Don't avoid getting permits. Now, here's the cool thing for today. I want you to go into the chat and and tell me, what was your biggest takeaway about this show? Tell me exactly what you think we're doing wrong. And if you got any questions, ask. My team will be there the whole time. Now, here's the most amazing part. Today, I'm going to give away a two-hour private consultation with me and you. So, if you go into the comments now, tell me your biggest takeaway. Share this episode onto two other social media platforms. So, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you can share it. You have to share it to two what places is, and then the last thing I want you to do is come back and tell me which platforms you shared it on because we're going to check. Everybody that does this, we're going to put them in a draw. The winner is going to get two hours privately with me uh, on Zoom and I'm going to talk you through this whole thing and help you do it.